What's up guys, it's Camp Ross here, East Down Aquatics, and I'm here with my 30 gallon long guppy tank. So, this is a really basic tank, I've kind of just put guppies in here and let them go. So let's just look at the progress in here. It's, I don't really do anything to this tank, I do like 10% to 20, like 25% I guess, 10-20% water changes every week or two, and that's about it, that's all I have to do. I have the cobalt canister EXT filter. Let me move this turkey baster out of the way. EXT canister working amazingly. I want to get a review out to you guys on that very soon. I made one. I was it was ready to post, and then I found out I had I made a lot of mistakes in the like I made a mistake in the video, so I have to redo that. But this review is going to be good. Just give me some time, and this thing keeps this tank in pristine condition. I am dealing with some black hair algae, but that is only on these, that's on the fake plants and stuff. There's a lot of fake plants in this tank, but I'm currently using a shop light in this coral life fixture, so that's why the algae is coming, not the filter. The filter is keeping it very clean other than that, and for the shop light I'm using, I'm surprised I don't have more of that algae. Let's dig right in and let's just get you a good shot of the guppies coming by. So what we have are, I think there's some, I think they're hybrids. Let's move this up. They may be hybrid guppies. A lot of them. Hybrids with endlers and whatnot. I put in some wild type looking guppies a while ago. And then I ended up getting these really neat strains coming in here. They look kind of like endlers. Yeah, there's... There's one that's more of the guppy kind. And then, let me see if I can get a good view of one of the, yeah. If you look, there's some with really wild colorations. And I, these are all going to be for sale. They are all for sale. I just have to find people to buy them. Because I'm going to be changing this tank into a saltwater tank. Cleaning it all out completely and gonna work on it. I have most of the stuff for it. And yeah, I just have to get some more rock, I think. If I keep this tank set up, who knows? This saltwater tank. I'm gonna use it to get some live rock in here, and then I'll probably put a, another piece in there of dry rock or something after that. So I'm gonna cycle that and get it in here. But yeah. Once this tank is salt water, I'm gonna, well, before I get it to be salt water, I gotta get rid of these guppies. So if you know someone interested maybe in the Fort Wayne area, or if you'd like me to, tr to ship, I can do that. Just let me get s oh, some work done and stuff, and then once I'm ready, I'll be able to start shipping these and whatnot. I have a little zoom ed, like, thing that spins the, what is it? The, whatever the the blowing thing on the canisters it sounds so stupid right now it lets it move around and stuff without any plug-in or anything it just moves around I got it for free at the aquatic experience they were handing them out so I got that hooked on it's pretty neat and then I have just a basic sponge filter that I made longer with some rubber band and tubing I made it longer because originally I didn't have a top on this I just got a Versatop really heavy Marineland one but anyway if I kept it short, it would get a lot of water up in this light, and I didn't want that to happen. So I made it longer, and I pushed this light back like that, and I made it longer so that the bubbles wouldn't get in the light. So that was just kind of a little DIY thing I did. And I have a little, I made this sponge thing, to, like sponge filter sock or whatever to cover that intake so that no guppies would get suck, sucked up and as you can see it's worked pretty well there's a lot of fry in here a little bit of driftwood mostly fake plants because I've just kind of thrown any I can in there I have a like a crypt jungle over here I put a big crypt in here and in, in this tank when I had like nothing in it I shook it around just to kind of clean up the roots and all those little root like dead root pieces got to the ground and then started forming this, so that just kind of happened. And then I have some contortionist valve. And then in the back, I have like a little garden where I've been growing different 
just little plants just to see if they'll work some of them have been spreading some not so much I'm gonna get a better light on this tank I'm gonna show you the lights I have real quick sorry for the herd of elephants upstairs you can hear my siblings are going crazy so these two lights I have for the saltwater tank I'm gonna do I have a 10,000 K Coral Life daylight bulb and an actinic blue light I think I'm gonna put this 10,000 K on this tank now or like in the next couple days or something and see how the plant growth goes and see if I can get some plants to move to other tanks for when I shut this thing down I just gotta get rid of this hair algae so I'm gonna keep the light off for a while and then I'll switch to that so yeah not too much here I have a bunch of fake plants floating and they all are covered in that hair algae as you can see like they have that hair algae on them sorry it's hard to focus yeah that stuff but yeah if you know how to get rid of that just let me know uh, hydrogen peroxide I use sometimes but I've had problems with it hurting my plants lately so I've not been using it but yeah that's just a little spot for the babies to hide out in so yeah thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video